Talking about confirmation from North Korea's state news agency that Kim Jong-un's uncle, Jack song Tak has been removed from his powerful post. A story we told you about last week. State television aired a photo of him being hauled away from a meeting. North Korea says he was removed for, quote, criminal acts, including corruption, womanizing, abusing drugs and alcohol, and mismanaging the economy. He was also accused of dreaming different dreams, whatever that means. I want to bring in Christopher Hill. He's a former ambassador and assistant secretary of state. He was also the lead U.S. delegate during the six-party talks with North Korea from 2005 to 2009. So we talked about this last week. Uh, you had suspected that this was true. Now we have confirmation uh, that the uncle has been pushed out. Were you surprised by how much detail the North Koreans released? Well, you bet. I mean, this isn't the first time they've purged uh, leaders, even senior leaders. In fact, uh, Chung Sung Tech has been purged himself a couple of times, but I don't think he's ever done a perp walk before. So this is something new. And the details about all the different charges, who do you think might replace him? Well, good question, if anybody. But uh, I think what, what we're seeing is Kim Jong-un really wants to say, hey, I'm in charge. And he obviously is in a position to do that. You know, Chung Sung Tech has been kind of out of the picture for several months. So clearly this is, uh, it has his fingerprints on it that uh, Kim Jong-un has really pulled this off himself. So I don't think he has a, as much adult supervision today as he may have had before. And let's turn to some rare good news out of North Korea. It's rare that I get to do this, but 85-year-old Korean veteran uh, uh, Merrill Newman was released after being detained by North Korea for over a month. He's now back in home with his, in California with his family. He just released a statement. I want to read part of it. Quote, I've given considerable thought to this and have come to the conclusion that I just didn't understand that for the North Korean regime, the Korean War isn't over, and that even innocent remarks about the war can cause big problems if you're a foreigner. Uh, what do you make of all this? Well, I mean, I think it appears that he made some comments to people and the North Koreans kind of went to town on it. I don't think they had any business holding him. I don't think they had any business detaining him for so many weeks. So I'm glad they let him go. But, uh, you know, these kinds of things happen. And that's why people really ought to think very carefully about going to North Korea. And, you know, having been to the DMZ there, I mean, it is very obvious that North Korea is very much, not nor just North Korea, South Korea, too. They're still, you know, in, an, in war in all but action. Oh, man, I've walked over that DMZ. I've walked from South Korea into North Korea and then from North Korea back to South Korea. And, yeah, you really get a sense that, first of all, there's no D, there's no demilitarized zone right. in, that, uh, in that place. Yeah, it's plenty, mil it's oh, plenty you militarized. Got it. You got it. But meanwhile, another American, Ken Bay, still being held. How do you view his prospects? Well, you know, he should be released immediately. There is no question. Uh, I know there have been some efforts to try to get him out. And usually, as I mentioned, I think last week, the best way to handle this is not to uh, talk too much about it publicly. But I, I'm sure there are big efforts to get this young man out. He did nothing wrong. He ought to be uh, released immediately. And then lastly, wh where do you see the future of... of the, the, uh, Kim Jong-un and his actions in the region. Where do, you, where do you see him going? Where do you see him taking things? You know, this is a big transition. I mean, when Kim Jong-il died, the father died, and, and the son took over, that was obviously a big transition. But everyone looked at Chung Sung Tech as kind of the regent, the guy who would kind of keep this uh, together. But uh, now he's gone. So in some respects, this is the big transition. And we're really not sure where this is heading. Uh, one thing it's pretty clear to me that Kim Jong-un is not a reformer. This is not a, uh, someone who really has a kind of different view of uh, how North Korea should, uh, should act. So I think we're into kind of uh, some uncharted waters at this point. Dennis Rodman said to be heading there in another few weeks, bizarrely enough, one of the best chances for diplomacy that we have. Dennis Rodman. Well, I was never a big fan of his <laughs> basketball, and I, I'm not going to get on the diplomatic bandwagon with Dennis Rodman. <laughs> All right, fair enough.